Welcome builders, Andy is your here. Welcome to another tutorial on my channel. This is for a desert storage barn. I love this build. It came to me in a dream and I thought, I have to build it. Plenty of room for downstairs storage or maybe even a store or shop. And then upstairs you have another incredible large storage area, maybe a little market or four stores or shops you could have up here. And then upstairs you've got maybe an outdoor sleeping area or just a place to observe and watch. And there are two fortified towers to help as well. Okay, to build this, you're gonna need all these ingredients. And I haven't put the interior decoration into that list, but that would be up to you to do. Here are the main blocks which you need. Then mark out a little five by five area here with whatever you want, just to mark it out. There you go, I've used some beautiful, beautiful orange terracotta then leave a gap of nine so it's not on an actual five by five grid if any fans of the five by five building system this is probably not a five by five build strictly speaking okay so let's start with this tower over here so one two three four five beautiful cut sandstone and a little five by five shape there so we're building this tower right here i'm using steven's traditional texture pack and we're going to go for a count of 18 so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and then what we want to do is alternates alternates on the chisel no not chiseled they're cut sandstone blocks complementary shaders today just because don't know why in between stick yourself some smooth sandstone and we don't actually need to go all the way to the top what we do need to do is do the other four corners be right back when that is complete I must tell you about my server sponsors while I do this dedicated MC link is in the down below if you want your own Java edition server or bedrock server go with these guys they are the absolute best it's run by Minecraft veterans they really care about Minecraft 99.99% uptime and incredible incredible help and service if you need help if you want help with your plugins they will give it to you they are absolutely incredible use the code andy is yoda for 15 percent off your first month dedicated mc.io all right once that's done we've got a few little changes to make at the very top these blocks here need to be chiseled sandstone with smooth sandstone in between like that and they come up. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, as you can see, I've also got some of these little buttons on, beautiful dark oak buttons. Might as well put them on right now. And at the front. Cool, so that's nearly one tower done. Now what we're going to do is add on some windows. So to do that, we're gonna have a block there and then mist two. So it's a block of smooth sandstone, mist two until you get to the very top. And then you wanna go for smooth sandstone stairs to make that kind of little arrow slit in the staircase. And then you go like that. And keep on changing the direction you're facing. One stair the right way up, one stair upside down until you get all the way to the top. Same at the back of this build. You just need to put one block at the bottom, keep on missing two, and you end up with these little gaps here. Keep changing direction. And one more window down the way. It looks like little arrow slits alternate as they go up. What we want to do on the side that's facing the other tower and the side that's facing the front, we only want two windows, and those windows start at the very top with a gap of one and then we just keep this coming down like this now on this side there will be uh, a couple of doors there'll be a door halfway up as well we'll put that in a little bit later on but that side has a door at the bottom so uh, two more windows on this side as well this is the side that's facing the other tower and then this just comes down there seal the deal so that is one tower what we want to do is do another tower an exact mirror image right there again a gap of nine in between so be right back when that mirror image is complete 
And next, we're going to do three of these little side bits here. They're really easy, so let's get them done. So we're going to go for cut sandstone and a count of 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like that. And then we're going to do smooth sandstone. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that. Join that up at the top. And then we want five blocks right in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 five like that keep the middle coming down and you should have a gap of three by three on the side reach for smooth sandstone stairs and go facing the middle block bring them back and that makes little tiny desert windows love doing this in desert builds looks so cool and then one last detail we'll add on some more of these beautiful dark oak buttons and they're going to go one two three four like that so what we want to do is do three more of the exact same thing we've just done we're going to have one there that's 11 blocks and we're going to have one here as well to do this should be also be uh, 11 blocks so be right back when that is complete and that's what that looks like it's quite a complicated build but it, it actually gets broken down into some really easy stages as well so the next stage is this central square kind of uh, tower here which gives you these beautiful levels here underneath so you can see what this looks like what we're aiming for so grab yourself some sandstone and we're just going to mark this out so we need to do three three there and three there and then I'm not sure of the gap, so let's measure the gap between them. I think it's going to be like five or something. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a gap of five, and that is what you need to remember. So one, two, three, four, five, and then another little L shape there, and a little L shape here as well in exactly the same position. Get everything lined up. This needs to be ten blocks high. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we may as well do all of them while we are here. Oh, that's too far. And these ones, let's get it done. Ten blocks high. Simple, simple, simple. At the very top, we're just going to complete these sides like that. That is so simple, isn't it? And then we're going to go for sandstone stairs upside down. There we go. That is so easy so far. It really is so, so simple. And then uh, up top, we're going to go for, I think we're going to go one, two of these smooth sandstone blocks right in the corner like that. And then place another one in the middle. And on top of the middle ones, we're going to go chiseled like so. There we go. That's fine. Um, what's next? What's next? What's next? Right. Yes smooth sandstone stairs facing away from the middle block again and then do the same on the other two sides be right back when i've done that there we go that was easy and then smooth sandstone slab start in the corners and just go around missing a block each time couldn't be simpler and this just makes it look a little bit fortified there we go and i have used some of these some dark oak buttons and i think i've only put them oh yes here right on these corners it just looks so cool like that and there there and there and that is that little middle tower done i told you it was easy Next, we're going to add in a little bit of flooring, and this is going to give us uh, a bit of a hand and a guide for some of the more complicated parts of this build. So count down two blocks here, and we're just going to put a block right there. Simple as that. So uh, same thing over here, here, everything at the same level and same at the back, to be honest. Then we're going to grab sandstone stairs and go under like that. 
boop, boop. Might get a visit from Aaron in a minute, my trusty developer. Do you know what a developer does? <laughs> it develops a server. Make sure the server is running properly. Okay, now we're going to switch over to this block here, which is the awesome, one of my favorite blocks. Is Yoda recording? Yes, Yoda is recording. <laughs> this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful upper placed oak slabs to give us this floor. It's starting to look pretty cool already, isn't it? I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so what we want to do uh, to get our floor done is to wrap this round once, twice, and actually three times. So that's it wrapped round twice. Am I recording? Yes. And then wrap it around a third time. Like that. Do, 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 do. There we go. And knock off these corners. Poof. And poof. Like that. Corners and knock it off it. Uh, then we need to remember the two numbers 11 and 5. So. This needs to be 11 blocks long. So put a middle block and then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, plus five plus one is 11. And then a five. So we go one, two, three, four, five. So it was, do you remember it was, it was 11 and a five. So 11 goes in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, one two three four that one cannot be 11 it doesn't get as far as we needed it but this one can be the five does that make sense there we go it should look like that so over here we would like it to be 11 to match the front but it can't because this is only going to be four one two three four but this side can be five one two three four five and then this one just lines up here one two three four five like that and that does actually give us a bit of a a helping hand actually when it comes to you know putting on the surrounding areas which are a little bit more complicated what we can do at this point is just dig into our towers and add in a little bit of flooring at this level in our towers so you can do that and then down here what we do obviously need is to go up in the world where are ladders these days ladders like there we go Grab a ladder. Okay. And then keep this coming right to the very top up here. And then where do you want your floor? It should be right here, right? So you can stand up and be defended and still have a look around and see who is coming to get you. So we need to do the same over here. So let's get that done really quickly. Floor here. We could make it a complete mirror image, couldn't we? We could do a stair or a ladder here in this corner. You can do, if you want, I'm just going to do ladders, but you could do a spiral staircase if you so choose. And you could you could do that level as well. If you prefer that level for standing and looking out of your lookout towers, you could do that level as well. So there we go. We've got floors ready. We've got ladders ready. We've just got some of the slightly more complicated blocks to be put on on the side but we're actually looking really really good what we do have is another floor we can put in as well see we've got a ladder here and we can make a floor so let's do that before we move on so that it goes right there and this is why i love using these stairs upside down because it lets you put your floor in at that level you still get light coming in through these holes but you're actually standing you know at the right level for all your furniture just great and then here we can actually have um, I think what I did was I put some trap doors like that and you can actually place ladders straight onto trap doors how cool is that I love it it is so cool I'm just concerned about the back here yeah we do have some more of this to put out the back hmm. let me have a quick look and see if I can memorize what's to happen here I think I've got this I think I've got this so we're gonna do one two three four five bring this right across 
but knock off those ones and then simply bring this across as a three wide. So I think it should look something just like that. Let me just triple double check. Yeah, I think, oh, no. It just goes straight across. Okay, how interesting. Have I messed that up? What have I done? There we go. So it's just five at the start and then it's just it goes all the way across. So let's do that. Boop. Boop. There we go. And that's what it looks like at the back. So we do have our little complicated corners to do. Let's get on with it. Okay, to do this, we need a little bit of counting. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then four. One, two, three, four. And what that does is it gets us to the right position. So we'll do the same on the side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And we'll switch to our sandstone palette and we're gonna go for two of these cut. And then we're gonna go for four smooth on top, like that. Come in, boop, like that and like that. There we are. And then four on top. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. Um, bring that across, to zip that across like so, and then five on top, one, two, three, four, five, and it should match right there. Very, very pleasing indeed. Very cool. So we need another block there and there, and then two more blocks to complete it. Smooth sandstone there and there. Very cool. So once that's done, we can take away all our counting blocks. And then we're going to do these corners here. So this corner here is going to be an ex obviously an exact mirror image of that corner down there. Just before we do that corner, totally putting it off now, but we're going to, I don't want to forget, dark oak buttons right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're going to start with cut sandstone and we're going to do a couple of blocks there of cut sandstone and then we'll have one in the middle eventually but we'll just concentrate on smooth sandstone just now we're going to go one two and then two up here like that and then just bring that up like that that's going to be three blocks high and then two in the way just like that and that should finish off there with one block on top so we need to do the exact same one here so we've got one two and then two there, right? And then we come up by three. One, two, three. We add these on and I have that block just there. So let's um, focus on the middle here. So we've got that one easily completes that point there in the corner. And we'll have two blocks on top of that. And then three blocks fitting in here. One, two, three. One, two, three, like so. Bring them up in a little L shape there, kind of a little L shape, so like that. See that little L? And same here. And everything should look like that so far. We need one block right here in the middle. And then we need a row of four blocks. So we go one, two, three, four, like that. What we can do is make another little L shape here, a little L. And a little L here, one, two, three, like that. It's not bad so far. Just take a little break, stand back, have a look at see what we've done um, so far. It's all looking very straightforward. Cool, cool, cool. So now we want, um, I'm going to do that. And it gets us these three diagonals, but I'm actually going to take away the blocks underneath, which were just there to help out for a few seconds. What we want to do is have two blocks here same so that block has to disappear and we want another block here disappear block here disappear so it should be looking just exactly like that so far awesome block and a block right there let me just double check everything that's happening yes that is actually perfect so so happy with that um, we are going to add a block there and there as well. So we get this little gap here. It's looking great so far. Um, 
Let me just double check something. Yes, so we do that. <laughs> That's quite a difficult block to get right, actually. So once we've done that, we could actually bring this block out. Two, three, four, five. So we're going to have a gap of five here. And then this just comes in like that. Let me just double check. Yeah, see that just comes in like that. So that was quite complicated. We need to do a mirror image on the other side. So I'm actually going to do that. So one, two, one, two. And then we've got two blocks on top, two blocks on top. Um, we come up by two, don't we? Is that right? Up by two. We've just done this. It, sh it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, yeah, that's the one that comes up by three. One, two, three, and then two across and one. One, two, three, two across and one. Brilliant. Now we can complete the middle block. And it just has two on it. And then we add threes. One, two, three. Three, like so. And then those threes kind of finish off in a bit of an L shape and then we had this uh, one block right here in the middle to place is that right hmm. do, 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 do. yes that block there goes in the middle and then it was the four right one two three four that was pretty good and once the four had been placed one two three four we kind of L shape that don't we we kind of L it one two three like that and then we wanted three blocks like that. And then next we want two blocks kind of hanging here. Two blocks hanging here like that. And then we want the blocks, uh, two blocks hanging one there and there like that. And then what did we do? We had that leaving that gap, right? We left that gap and then what did we do again? Oh yes, that becomes two blocks. And then it comes out. Is that right? That hold on. It becomes two blocks like that. Hmm. Yeah, and then that comes like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, leaving that little gap of five. And then we do a little L shape to finish things off like that. And then I guess we have to do the exact same thing at the front as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That something doesn't look right. Hmm. Something is slightly off here. What have I done? What have I done? It looks fine over here. <laughs> what have I done? Oh no. Is it that block there that's... Oh my word, what have I done? I've done something wrong. Hold on, I got this, I got this. So you put that block in then those two. Put that block in then those two. It's like this block is missing, isn't it? Ah, uh, that block is missing, that block... See, that's what I was missing. I was missing those blocks. I'm pretty sure I was missing those blocks, yeah. Hmm, it definitely was. So that was the problem. That block and that block were the problem. Now we are going to reach for Ocus Thrapidorus, and these go here, like that, and here. I love that block. That little missing block there, absolutely love it. When you're inside and you get that little bit of light coming in just through there, and that little, this could be a dark corner, couldn't it? But it's actually not a dark corner because because of that block absolutely love that so that is that now we do have to look at the back of this to make sure the back is done correctly as well so that's our next stage alrighty then so at the back we're going to do a little L shape like that um, and then we do another L shape but kind of inverted this time like that another L it's all L shapes like that that's so cool how that works though and then that just comes around another l shape <laughs> and then that comes across like so and then i take it we just go like this with our trepidorus maximus and that is the back of that done as well now we're ready for our all our shading and so on as well our our shade shading shade so let's get that done so it looks like it's one two three four 
and these get put on just here so it's one two three four one two three four like that let's do the same over here um, oh we've missed out some corners haven't we missed out some corners so it's an l shape l shape l shape it's all l shapes if you don't know how to do this build just build l shapes so we go l shape right and then what does the next l shape look like we got this right l shape and then l shape <laughs> that's cool i love it where the l have you been all my life and then like that l shape and then l shape that's amazing i love how that works i hope i've done that correct i probably haven't so i think that block needs to be on there like that that's the one additional block to put on so there we go so now we can go back to what we were doing one two three four two three four same over here one two three four one two three four now obviously we've got to put on these campfires like this and it just matches up something like this goodness me we are getting smoked out here like that okay so we need campfires on this side and this side as well so i'm going to do that off camera in a second what we will do is put on a little one two three four five show you how i do my flags so i love to do my flags like this so one block on top two like that and then one block on the diagonal like that so campfires and there we go you know we're virtually finished you can add on a little barrier there stop your small children falling out <laughs> and i'll show you the other details that uh, me and aaron put into this build as well plenty of cactuses dead bushes barrels we've got um, some of these things on fire, whatever these are, furnaces. I don't think you could do that. Can you have that? You have to put stuff in them to make them burn. Um, we put these acacia trap doors around the inside as well. And then orange terracotta floor it looks absolutely fantastic, especially if you're lucky enough to have shaders and shadows and things like that. And then a little touch of detail in here by Aaron. This was very clever indeed. So we've got red terracotta, terracotta, white terracotta red back in the middle isn't that a great pattern just add that in add a little panache as well if you want to add these lamps you need to add on another little square of oak slab make it a full block and then you can hang your lamp down either like that or you could use a chain as well and then just go for adding some nice details into your build like these barrels more barrels lamps lamps look good in these corners I think you could put lamps there but I think it looks really nice to have the glow coming from the inside the build I added a few more lamps here as you can see as well just makes the whole thing look exciting and intriguing and glowy as well but um, you could add vines as well I didn't think it looks too good being a desert build to have too many vines Aaron added these little desert drains with these uh, water logged um, smooth sandstone slayers S slayers <laughs> on, on that note it's time for me to put my teeth in and uh, finish up this video guys thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate that no one saw that right if you would like to download everything we've been building since 2019 including all my kingdoms in bedrock or java edition then join as a channel member or become one of my patrons it's the same difference so you can see i placed it into an actual village on java 1.19 it doesn't look too out of place i'll be doing some more desert builds very shortly so be sure to subscribe i will also be giving this build up as a schematic which you can paste into your own java edition worlds just get it on my discord it will be free to download it if you would like to build another desert store click the link right here and there's also a minecraft desert well transformation here